This is just a nice chill wheel. I don't feel like it's trying to get away from me. It feels like this could be a good all-rounder. Oh, I felt a bit of a stutter then in the motor. So that's why you can't just believe the motor watt power. Don't see why you'd pick the V11 over this S19, to be honest. The crap, my foot just dragged on the ground. Oh yeah. That's terrible. What do I think of the S19? Well, honestly, Welcome everyone, I'm Jono, and this is another initial ride preview, this time with the Kingsong S19. Once again, thank you to e-riders for the test ride. If you're in the market for a new wheel, then use my code to help out the channel. Thanks guys. So this is an interesting wheel because it's priced at the entry level market, but it has a lot of gadgets like the LEDs, built-in power pads, spiked pedals, speakers. Um, so it's got a lot to offer. But I do have some uh, criticisms about it. So that's what we'll be going into. And remember, this is an initial ride preview. It takes a couple weeks to get used to a wheel, but it's good practice just to see how quickly you can adapt to a wheel and the initial uh, thoughts. All right, let's get stuck into it. So, I'm getting an overlean alarm real easily on this wheel. So what I thought is it's a bit of a entry level, 20 incher. And this knobby rolls really nice. Just from side to side, effortless carving. Makes it quite pleasurable just to carve. Doesn't take too much force. I'm running it at uh, 26 PSI. So an interesting feature of this one is that the power pads are locked in position. Uh, so meaning you have to like the way it is and the fronts feel really comfy. But the backs, yeah, they're pretty good. The lower pad was digging into my foot a little bit. Oh, you can hear the suspension there. The famous King Song rollers. But honestly, it feels better than the Extreme, which I was just testing, thanks to E-Riders. Uh, but of course, my air shock had the wrong pressure on it. Look, it's pretty easy to push up this little hill. He had a big dip there, but didn't cut out, so that's a good sign. Oh, the rebound's a bit clunky if you heard that. Oh yeah, it pushes up the speed pretty easily. Far more stability from that 20 inch tire. Coming up here with the smaller extreme, it was getting all squirrely on me, but that's the beauty of these 20 inches. So there is a narrower rim on this wheel, meaning that uh, it rounds out the tire a bit more and that's making it easier to just to carve a bit because when it's rounder, um, yeah, it just leans side to side a bit easier with the knobby tire. It's very progressive cornering. It doesn't fall off an edge like the Kenda K262. So that's quite refreshing. And it doesn't uh, have a flat spot like the uh, Extreme or Pattern, meaning it's quite predictable. Oh! Yeah, I do like the hard lean and those beeps are scaring me. So if you're a hard, fast rider, then I'd probably be looking for a different wheel, but the S19 has all the bells and whistles, like the uh, speakers and the LEDs, so it's going to be great for group rides at night, that sort of thing. A lot of fun. And it feels really lightweight and comfortable as well up here. 
the top of the wheel is so comfy. It makes it quite enjoyable. So I'm not worrying about the sharp edge cutting into my leg. Now, I don't see much option for a seat here. And looking down at the display, it's quite far back. So I'm having to look a bit further than I like. That grab handle is too low to be a brake handle, so definitely not uh, a performance wheel, but from what I've heard, it's competitive for the B11, T4, that sort of size range. And it's feeling really nice. Bigger battery than the V11, around 1700 watt hours, so just a little bit extra, which is what I always wanted with the V11. Maybe I'll try seated, even without the seat. Oh, oh yeah, that's terrible. That's terrible, all right. Um, it's hard, slippery, and it's sloping forward. Not gonna work out. I mean, obviously it's possible I'm doing it, but it's not fun. Well, it is fun, but you know, if you hit a bump, this is gonna bruise my, my butt. <laughs> so I don't know if you can put a seat on here, but something I would look into. Oh, we're just hitting a headwind and see it's trying to pull the wheel over. Far more planted than the extreme on this windy downhill, which is really pulling over. But that's something I find with these off-road knobby tires, is that when you do hit that wind, it can pull away from you. So it's just something to look out for. Yeah, pretty easy transition to standing I'm up into the front of the power pads here and yeah, they feel really well contoured and plush. Cruising at a good speed, a bit quicker than the extreme through there. And that's what you get with a bit bigger tire, just more confidence at speed but I don't know how I feel about the, the beeps. Oh yeah, that pulls up really well. Those rear brake pads are up nice and high, meaning it gives you plenty of leverage. Just over that curb bump. Bit clunky, and that's what you're gonna get with the uh, roller slider system from King Song. This is just a nice chill wheel. I don't feel like it's trying to get away from me in any way. It's rolling predictably. Look at that, easy turn. Oh, I felt a bit of a stutter then in the motor under braking. So that's why you can't just believe the motor watt power. There's more to it than just 3,500 watts. Honestly, I think I'm enjoying it just a bit more than the extreme. Uh, I don't know, perhaps it just feels a bit more refined, you know, and that makes it a bit more pleasurable to just ride around. You know, you don't have to think about it as much. Perhaps it comes up my uh, leg a bit higher too. I mean, it still has a lot of give, but I have been getting over lean beeps and braking beeps, but I'm a bit more of a, I don't know, harder rider, I guess. And I'm used to the Sherman S, so I do like that power. Oh, nearly got pogoed off the, <laughs> nearly got pogoed off then. I've been noticing that as a bit of a pogo feel to the suspension. Something to watch out for, just gotta bend your knees a bit more. 
I mean, if I'm not pushing really hard, it's not giving me the warning beeps, but if you're a heavier rider, you might have to watch out for that. Uh, I've had that pointed out to me. Bike lane here. Oh. Pulls up pretty well there. <laughs> I got the shape. Cheers, mate. New wheel. <laughs> yeah, just cruising. That's what this wheel's good at. Just hanging out, having fun on solar sections, not going crazy. Feels like this could be a good all-rounder, you know. Decent suspension, enough range for a lot of people. The pads are included, that's a bonus. And then you got the speakers and the LEDs. Hopefully that can bring in new riders. Let's try a drop up here. I'm feeling a bit sorry for the suspension. Oh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get the slow-mo on that one. That was probably just my bad not getting enough speed on that one. It was pushing up pretty well. Oh yeah, went up there pretty good. Definitely doesn't feel as premium as, say, a, a pattern. But maybe that's not their demographic, as I was saying. They could be aiming for the cheaper entry level market, which is great. Because the suspension is a bit pogo y and the light weight of the wheel, I've been finding you can hop it a bit if you want to hop over some little bumps or jumps, bunny hop it, yeah, no problem. Although the jump pads aren't very well positioned, they're a bit too high so they don't lock in my foot. Alrighty, let's try some balance riding. Yeah, pretty easy to, to balance on the knee and Bring it up to speed in a controlled manner. Now I was worried about the foot plates because the spikes didn't look too impressive, but I haven't slipped yet over acceleration, braking or bumps, whatnot. All right, let's pull up here to have a chat. Oh, do you hear that motor grunt? Another stutter from the motor then. So I ran into a strange problem already because I like to just sit on the wheel and grab the front handle while I'm seated. Oh, and it, that's the cutoff switch. There's a sensor there, so uh, that's a bit of an issue. I'd have to work out the way I ride. I did notice that the foot plates do dip quite a lot in turns. So it does get quite close to the ground and Scott mentioned he's clipped some roots. So that's one issue that can happen particularly with this tire and the narrow rim combination but if you're starting out I think this is a great, great contender to replace a choice like the Inmotion V11 which is quite dated now and I just don't see why you'd pick the V11 over this S19 to be honest doesn't take much force so just get up to speed and I think it's just sipping the power or the rather the battery it's just sipping at the, the battery oh yeah 
so you can still rip it through the corners and have a lot of fun on this sort of AUC. Holy crap, my foot just dragged on the ground on that turn. Anyway, I'm wrapping it up now, heading back to E-Riders. So what do I think of the S19? Well, honestly, it just doesn't have enough power and battery for me, but I can feel that it's easy and fun to ride at slower speeds. And it can go pretty quick, a bit faster than the, the V11. So, you know, that's very enjoyable. Now, look at these turns, just lean into it. It feels light under the feet, making it low effort, but that tire was dipping low. Foot plate could have been coming close to the ground. Brakes easily, that's always a bonus in my book and the acceleration pretty good but I am getting overpower alarms and I've only been on it you know not even an hour so as an entry level lightweight suspension EUC I think this is a great option. Ride safe everyone and I'll catch you next time.